It's a super commonly held belief that creativity is all about being great at what you do, your skill. But I actually think that creativity is all about having great taste. Hey, I'm Andy J Pizza. I'm an illustrator, podcaster, and Skillshare teacher, and I have dedicated my career to exploring the creative myths and rules that keep us artists up at night. Welcome to Unmaking the Myth. We know that if you put 10,000 hours into your practice, you're gonna get pretty good at it. And we all know people like that. In fact, we know people that put in 20,000 hours. Just take your uh, Uncle Kevin, for example. And this guy can shred guitar, man. He can play Stairway to Heaven backwards on his toes. There's just one problem. Nobody wants to hear it, Uncle Kevin. Music? isn't about plucking guitar strings. It's about plucking heartstrings. What do we experience as great art? Is it a painter that can perfectly capture someone's likeness? Or is it a painter with such great taste that they can capture your attention? When I started thinking about this philosophy of taste, I stumbled upon this huge body of work by one of the greatest philosophers of all time, Immanuel Kant. You're not gonna believe this, but this guy has volumes about taste. He was obsessed with a priori. What is the stuff that we have built into us before experience? And one of the only handful of things that he thought we were programmed with was our taste. Taste, what is it? For me, it is a sense that you share in common with other people. And that is why for me, I do find taste as common sense. <laughs> you know, when we look at a sunset, we're like, wow, that is beautiful. Yes, beauty is subjective, but lots and lots of people agree that a sunset is indeed beautiful. They have that sense in common. How does this relate to you as a creator making great creative work? Well, if you are able to make something that you think is beautiful, you will be deeply tapping into what many others sense as beautiful and by tapping into your own taste, tapping into a greater common sense. For me, in my own practice, I'm a storyteller. I do that with pictures, I do it with words in my podcast and on stage. And what I've done is if I hear a story on a podcast or a comedy special, I will actually isolate that story if it hit me really deep and I'll listen back to it over and over and over and try to deconstruct the mechanics using my taste, using that sensibility. What happens is if I can write something that makes me cry or makes me laugh or makes me feel something really big, there is a high likelihood that my audience is going to pick up on that too. So let's bring this back to your own practice. You know, what would it look like for you to create not from your anxiety around being a virtuoso, but instead from a place of your own creative taste buds. That's what I do. You know, when I put stuff out there into the world and it's like technically the best drawing I've ever done, often it's crickets. And then I'll scribble something that somehow lights me up and I share that and all of a sudden I've tapped into a common sense of taste. So next time you sit down and make something, go ahead and let go of the need to be technically impressive and instead concern yourself with deeply connecting through your own sense of taste. So have you watched all of Unmaking the Myth yet? Walk, run, or just probably just click, click over here for the whole dang playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to Skillshare channel for more.